This sort of schematic over here is the reason why a lot of your trades, when you think it's going in one direction, it ends up reversing on you and going the complete opposing direction. All right, and this schematic is what is called your accumulation, manipulation, and distribution. Essentially, if you think of it, it's simply how a candle gets formed. So if you imagine your candle, in a bullish candle, you have an upper wick, bullish body, and a bottom wick. If you think about how the candle gets formed, right? It first opens here, it has to move lower to create the bottom wick of this bullish candle before it expands higher to the high. Once it expands to the high, at the end of the candle's lifespan, it will have some sort of a retracement back into the close of your candle. That retracement from the high to the close is where you have your upper wick. And so that is how a bullish candle gets formed. Because that is how a bullish candle gets formed, if you look on the lower time frame, you will get a schematic similar to this. Accumulation, manipulation, and distribution. And you could probably already guessed, your accumulation is where you have your open, manipulation is where you have the bottom wick, and then distribution is where it creates the body of that candle, followed by a minor retracement. But because it is so minor, this isn't necessarily a main focus in this overall accumulation, manipulation, distribution schematic, or for sure AMD. Now, one thing to note is that not every single candle is going to have the perfect AMD schematic. You're not always going to have that accumulation, but 95% of the time, you will always have some sort of a manipulation and a distribution, right? This is just an optional phase. Accumulation, you're not always going to get. If you look into accumulation now, why do we actually have accumulation? When price consolidates, what it's essentially doing is generating liquidity on both sides of the market. So buy side on top, sell side below. If you think of this as a higher time frame bullish direction, right? That means when price consolidates in a higher time frame bullish direction, what it's simply doing is generating sell side liquidity for price to manipulate. By manipulating, what that means is is dragging those players in who have sell stops below here. Because if you imagine breakout traders, they will have sell stops below this accumulation. So what does manipulation simply does? Think of it like this. When they get dragged into the markets, their stop losses would most likely be above the accumulation level. And this is solely speaking about breakout players. There will be other players within the market as well. For example, those that have buy stops above here. Hence why you have your buy side liquidity and sell side liquidity. So because your higher time frame direction is bullish, the market wants to continue higher, bringing early short players into the market is to simply accumulate their overall existing position over here before the price distributes higher and because that accumulation led to more buy side liquidity being created above here in the form of your short sellers stop losses, that means they have a larger quantity of liquidity that they could pair up their existing positions with that were made larger after taking out this sell side liquidity to exit out for profit and continue riding price higher. So that is something you have to understand for accumulation. The higher time frame direction always gives you a strong sense of anticipation of which phase is going to be your manipulation. Because it's unlikely that this price action is going to be a complete reversal because your higher time frame is bullish and that is where the majority of you guys are getting lost in. You fail to understand the reason why an accumulation gets created and you are unaware of your higher time frame direction. Right, because on a lower time frame, imagine this is most likely going to form on your lower time frame. So when you see this on the lower time frame, the ones who are unaware will imagine that this is a full complete market reversal. But because this only happened on the lower time frame, your higher time frame still remains bullish. So you are going against the higher time frame trend and hence why this becomes a low probability trade. Another thing you will sometimes see as well is this accumulation phase. It will have essentially two manipulation. The first one being a fake manipulation. Once you have that manipulation over here, it will be somewhat fake because when price moves lower and sweeps this sell side liquidity, higher time frame, bullish. If there was no reversal yet on a higher time frame, this is likely going to be your true manipulation before it continues higher. One thing you could use to identify when this happens is simply looking at your session timing. So if you have a look at examples here, price is clearly in a higher time frame bullish direction, aka our daily time frame. It's respecting discount arrays and disrespecting premium arrays. And as you can see from this, it's continued to go higher. So what does that mean? That means you want to see your bullish AMD schematic come into play. We have that accumulation, manipulation to the downside, and distribution higher. If price was bearish, right, you look for the same thing, but inverted. 
accumulation, manipulation to take up buy sell liquidity this time before distributions lower because your higher time frame is bearish. So even here on the higher time frame, you can see the schematic playing out. The most obvious example is this one over here. In these 15 days, look at the range that it was just playing in. All this range simply done was accumulate sell side and buy side above here. And this is a very clear example because here you have your accumulation and then you have your manipulation to the downside coming into this breaker block over here, which also overlaps with this imbalance. So that was a very significant key level to look for price to come back into for your manipulation before it distributes higher. Remember, even though it is a manipulation, the same thing always applies. You always want to see it mitigate some sort of a higher time frame discount rate before determining that market reversal to distribute higher. But you can see here, this is a very nice manipulation because it wicked below the low and taps into a discount rate, the body closing back within the range. So what does it do here? It takes out sell side liquidity, accumulates more long positions before it distributes higher and pairing up with the existing low resistance buy side liquidity above here that was made in the process of accumulation. So once you've identified this manipulation, this phase over here is where you want to look to take the majority of your profits. Because this schematic is also a confirmation of a continuation of the overall trend. So when you have this schematic, it's showing you that price still wants to continue higher. So with that in mind, you could have full conviction in catching continuation trades. Hence why the majority of your profit taking and the highest probability trades you will take is when it is within the distribution phase, because that's the confirmation of a continuation of the trend. Another example. Yeah, price is fractal, right? So on the daily, this is one large accumulation before you have this manipulation and then it distributes higher. So that is your continuation pattern. You can see here on a higher time frame, we are bullish, right? It's much more clearer on your weekly because price is fractal. Weekly, we are bullish. So here, all this simply done was accumulate, manipulate into a weekly imbalance before it distributes higher. On the daily, it just looks less clean because the schematic mainly happens on your weekly. But on the daily, you can still see that this was a clear accumulation, manipulation and distribution. And from here, you can start to anticipate how if you were to trade this accumulation, it wouldn't be so clean as identifying the manipulation and simply trading your distribution. Because when you have that manipulation and that distribution confirmed, all you're simply doing is waiting for price to come back into a discount rate, drop even lower onto your entry time frame, look for that market reversal to go bullish, and catch longs. It's very easy to predict where price is going to go on your higher time frame once you've identified this AMD schematic. So, if we have a look here at immediate price action, let's replay back into here. Yeah. Study what price has done here. It's come back into an imbalance, right? So, price comes down into this imbalance, it respects the imbalance, and it has a bullish candle. So, that's showing respect of this imbalance. That means because your higher time frame is still bullish, this should ideally be your next draw liquidity. In hindsight, we know it hits it, but how does it hit it? Well, here, you have another bullish order block that price comes back into, and then again, you have bullish candles. So that is supporting your overall bullish bias. If you drop onto the 4-hour, this is just one large market maker buy model. And as well, you have this accumulation here. This is your sell side curve, your market maker buy model. High time frame PDRA, you have your smart money reversal, and this is where price is creating that buy side curve. So here's your buy side curve, and this is your sell side curve. And looking at your buy side curve, it is clear that we are still respecting discount rates and disrespecting premium rates. So here, you have another break, as well as this one over here. The bullish candles are clearly expanding. There is clear displacement shown here. So that means this buy side liquidity should ideally be a magnet for price due to the amount of displacement that price is using to gravitate towards this buy side liquidity. Now, this is where you could drop down to the hourly. And let's see if an accumulation, manipulation, distribution schematic plays out. You can see here, that was already something you had at the start. When this hourly, this hour is an intermediate market maker bar model from here to here, right? You can see when smart money reversal happened, it already gave you an accumulation manipulation and distribution. The reason why this was a clear manipulation and you could possibly anticipate this to be a clear manipulation is because your higher time frame is bullish. So here, after you had that, price comes down, 
again into your bullish order block, respecting discount rates, and just dis continues to distribute higher. It's not so clear on this one, but it's, pre it's precisely the same thing here. Accumulation. Here you have your manipulation, and then you have your distribution. So here to here, and here to here, that is the most optimal trading conditions you could have because it's given you that manipulation and that confirmation that you're continuing higher in line with your higher time frame direction. So if you continue to play price up, look at what you get here. You will notice if you've been focusing on the timing, most of the accumulation happens in Asia session. If the asset is not related to Asia, such as in this case, US 100, right, is an American indice. So that means the most volatile timing that we'll have is going to be during New York especially after the New York bell. So anything before that, London session and Asian session, that is where you can anticipate for an accumulation to happen. And possibly in this scenario, like I've mentioned, if you remember when I mentioned that you could possibly have two manipulation, this is potentially something you could have. If you look here, Asia accumulated. But here, it looks like a manipulation has happened. But because this manipulation has happened during London, so if you can look here, 2 a.m. to 5 a.m., right? That is the London kill zone. So you're not particularly interested in trading that. If you're trading US 100, which is NASDAQ, because it's an American indice. But if you look here, you had accumulation and you had some sort of a manipulation. Like I said, because this happened during London and it's not in line with your higher time frame direction. If you look here, your higher time frame is still heavily bullish. There's no signs of a complete higher time frame reversal yet. So because that is against your higher time frame direction and it happened during London, that is where you can anticipate for this manipulation to be a fake manipulation. Right, so because that's the case, what you're doing during New York, which is going to be the most volatile session that you trade in, as price has swept all of this low resistance sell side liquidity, when price goes into the New York session, which is this hourly candle right now, 8 a.m., this is where you will look for that market reversal on your lower time frame to confirm that this downward move is your true manipulation for price to then distribute higher and take out your overall buy side liquidity in line with your higher time frame direction. You are not placing significance on this manipulation that happened during London because it's all about the session timing. Not only that, but it's also, like I said, it's not in line with your higher time frame bullish direction. There is no clear market reversal on your higher time frame yet. So, because that's the case, I'll drill down to the five minute. This is where we look for that market reversal. Price comes down. This was a market structure shift. Or this one over here. Either way, if you used the initial one and you had an entry off of here, stop loss below there. That would have been a nice trade, right? You could target this immediate buy side draw. But here, if you missed that, this was New York Bell, 9.30. So New York Bell gave you another break to the upside. As you can see here, price comes lower. This is where your entry could be. Stop loss below there. Take profit. This is where you could take your first partial before this overall buy side draw. Right, so let's do that. Taps you in. So that is your confirmation that this move on your hourly was that true manipulation because it's given you a clear market reversal to the upside. And you can see when this, when you had this fake manipulation, all it's simply done was give you steady bearish order flow to accumulate low resistance buy side liquidity for your true manipulation to happen. And once that true manipulation happens to give you that distribution, Look how price is just aggressively pumping higher, essentially slicing through these low resistance liquidity with ease. It comes back to your entry point. So if you missed your initial one, this is another opportunity for an entry before it continues higher. So in this overall move to your overall buy side liquidity, right, it taps you in. You can see the amount of opportunities it's given you. Hence why you always want to wait for that manipulation to happen to then catch the distribution. Because look here, if you missed the initial move, you have this bullish order block, right, another opportunity. And here, you have further order blocks that price can come back into. This one doesn't necessarily come back into this bullish order block, but it comes into this imbalance over here. So that's another opportunity to cut in. And then stop loss below there. Take profit somewhere above there. And it keeps hitting your take profit. Hence why the distribution in an AMD schematic is so high probability. Because like I said, once you have that accumulation and that manipulation with that market reversal to confirm this manipulation, that means price is just continuing in that intended direction. The schematic shows a continuation of your higher time frame direction. Once all the candles are played out, it becomes very clear now. 
you had um, accumulation, manipulation, and then distribution. So that is your AMD schematic. Always be on the lookout for this as it provides you with fake reversals, which you could trip yourself up on. But I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below in the comments. And like always, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.